Hello everybody, Rob Moffat here. Guys, uh, a couple years ago I made a video on the stuff I thought was a bargain and it was a really good value at the dollar store. Uh, it's, surprisingly, it's one of my most popular videos. It's, it's I got a lot of views. It's been a few years since I made the video. I thought I'd make another one uh, updated to what's going on, uh, uh, stuff I get at the dollar store now. Um, let's start off with something. I don't eat a lot of bread. So when I do eat bread, I try to eat something that, that, that is very good. This is a sprouted grain bread. The sprouted grain is supposed to be one of the better bread, best breads you can eat uh, for nutrition. It's a dollar to dollar store. Also, I, I love the little uh, English muffins. You can find all sorts of interesting varieties, though, at the dollar store that you don't commonly find in other stores. And I freeze them. These are corn. I've also seen the whole wheat and with the raisin cinnamon. And they're about half price at, at, at a dollar. You, normally they're like two something at the, at the grocery store. And they're, they're, they're good. So not only are these cheap, the things I'm mentioning here actually taste very good. This is applesauce. It's from Poland. It's, I think, the best applesauce I've ever had. It's very inexpensive. <laughs> Obviously, a dollar. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> oh, it's a dollar. Oh, that's a dollar. No, this is very good applesauce. Um, it's a Pampa version or a brand. Um, I usually get the larger can of tomatoes juice or the vegetable juice at the dollar store, uh, but I end up having to put it into a plastic container. This is already in a plastic container, but a little less. I use these in smoothies when I make vegetable smoothies. I just put a little bit of uh, the tomato juice with some ice cubes and different vegetables. So I don't really use as much as you would think to make a drink with this. It's very good. Um, I usually get the macaroni and cheese that I make the sauce myself with milk. But this comes with a cheese sauce. You don't have to add any milk to it. So uh, it's very good. You, you add a lot of vegetables with it make a, a vegetable pasta very quick. And they also, there's a lot more pasta in here than the normal box. Uh, sometimes I cut back on sugar a lot, but every once in a while I have a sweet tooth, I want something. What I'll do is I'll either have some cherry filling or pie filling, apple pie filling, just a little bit with maybe a little bit of pita bread, and so it'll satisfy the sweet tooth. Instead of eating a whole pie, you just take a spoon and uh, take a little bit of cherry, and you have a little dessert, and it satisfies the cra craving. Um, the fish, I'm a big fan of canned fish. Uh, this salmon here, you can make like a cream sauce or a white sauce and have it over potatoes or rice. It's, it's as good or better than tuna, I think. Less mercury. You all, this is a returning <laughs> item. I've mentioned this before in the other video. And I've got about five videos on how to cook mackerel. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to come out with a cookbook on just how to cook mackerel. <laughs> all the different recipes you can make. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna leave a link to one of the recipes I have are videos on how to make a fish pie with this, with cheese and milk and the mackerel and uh, the, the biscuit mix you put on top. It's, it makes a super quick pie. You could you could serve it to the French ambassador. Let me tell you, it makes a very good, surprisingly good little uh, meal. This mackerel does, if you cook it right. I'll leave a link to the video. It's just um, one of my favorite items to get at the store. These kippered herrings, they're, uh, to me, I don't know where I got the, the the urge to have these. I have them with uh, scrambled eggs sometimes for breakfast. I don't know anybody else that does that, but for some reason I like kippers with scrambled egg and toast for breakfast sometimes. Just get an uh, urge for it. These sardines are the mildest, pleasant uh, tasting sardines I think I've ever had. They're the Sunny Sea brand in brine and you can make a, a salad with them or a sandwich bread. They're very tasty and very mild. You'd be surprised. This is a large amount. They're, they're, they're not anything special, but they're quite a bit for a dollar. Uh, I think it's uh, one pound, 12 ounces, 20 ounces total. And the last one we got here going is these peaches for uh, 29, almost 30 ounces from South Africa in syrup. Um, I think these items, like, like I said, not only are they inexpensive, but they taste very good. I think I saved a lot by buying these and, and basing some of my recipes around them. So you might want to check these out at the dollar store. And I'll leave a couple recipes in, below links in, in the uh, video description down below. So hope you like this video, guys. I put on new stuff every week. 
I've got a lot of people I feature on my channel that I like to, to do recipes and cooking too. Um, and I don't always do cooking stuff. I have all, my channel, you never know what you're going to find. Uh, check, I've got over 600 videos, a lot of different playlists. Check, check them out. And like I said, come back, I put on new stuff every week. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And don't buy all these. Leave some for me. <laughs> uh...